The new dimension tape object provides a simple yet effective reference for riggers and stagehands hanging lights or projectors on the truss or lighting pipe. Using Spotlight and the Dimension Tape tool, you can quickly show the approximate location of objects that don't require exact locations until after the installation of the object is completed. To place a dimension tape, click the Dimension Tape tool from the Dims and Notes tool set. In this example, we'll place a dimension tape below a truss to get an idea of where objects are located along that truss. Click once to start drawing the dimension tape. Click again at the end of the truss to determine the length and the rotation of the dimension tape. Click a third time to place the object and determine the offset from the line that you've drawn. Since this is the first time we'll have drawn a dimension tape, the Object Properties dialog appears. Click OK to close this dialog, as we can change the parameters from the Object Info Palette after it's been placed. The text size of the dimension tape can be controlled in the Text menu. If you want to change the graphic attributes, you can apply a line type or color in the Attributes palette. Along the dimension tape, you'll see a series of hash marks and subdivision lines. You can change the distance between these hash marks in the Object Info Palette. You can also control the number of subdivisions in between the hash marks. If you want to make the hash marks or subdivision lines longer, change the height in the Object Info Palette. By default, the numbers on the dimension tape will start at zero and increase in the direction we drew the line. If you need to end the dimension tape at zero, you can choose to number in the negative direction. You can also choose to mark the dimension tape from the center of the line. This will extend numbers in both directions from the center of the dimension tape. If zero should be located off-center, you can enter the offset below. As you can see, the numbers are overlapping some of the geometry in the drawing. For this, we can use the number placement bottom slash left to move the numbers below the line that we've drawn. Finally, you can create a specific marker if you need to indicate an exact location of an object on the tape. Right-click on the dimension tape and choose Add Specific Marker. This will create a separate object on the dimension tape. You can control the position of the specific marker and the length of its line by using the control points located on the object. You can also change the location of the specific marker using the Marker Position box in the Object Info Palette. 